Ever since the days of Dune 2016 speedruns, where a whole community of speedrunners tried their best to beat the newly rebooted Doom as quickly as possible, a beautiful tech was born that would let the player travel farther and increase their speeds much quicker than a simple bunny hop would do. The Goss Cannon Used as a destructive weapon and a portable jetpack, now replaced with a weapon with similar properties, the Ballista. Ballista boosting has been used frequently in both speedruns and casual play of Doom Eternal. With a flick of a wrist, you can Ballista boost, but even with the flick of a stick, can produce similar results. <laughs> ballista boosting is as easy as it sounds. You fire the Ballista and it pushes you back. Using that push to propel yourself is the boost part. Now on PC, you can do a quick flick and send yourself flying, but trying that on console can make you lose some of that crucial height and even boost yourself into an object, halting your momentum. It's safe to say that you would not be able to use this tech as often as someone on PC could, but that doesn't mean it won't come in handy at all. For a basic ballista boost, stand near an edge with your back facing towards the direction you want to boost yourself to, jump and hold the left stick down, fire the ballista and immediately turn around. What would normally take a double jump and a couple dashes to cross can be achieved with a simple boost and a double jump. Now, you're probably thinking, how does this benefit you? What are the advantages? One, it makes you faster. Two, you can skip certain areas. And honestly, <laughs> it's just really fun to do. Yeah, you use up like 25 plasma cells for it, but it's a small sacrifice to pay for a ballista boost. But back on topic, you'll be sent flying at double your speed and like I previously mentioned, can cover distances that would normally take you longer to do. You could even ballista boost off of monkey bars to double your momentum. One thing to keep in mind is your runes, specifically air control rune. <laughs> While it's fantastic to use for the meat hook, but ballista, not so much. It's a common mistake most players will run into. You'll do everything right, but then notice you're traveling at a normal speed. The reason why you aren't flying is because of air control. It's possible to pull off a ballista boost with the rune on if you know how to position the left stick properly that it won't interfere with your momentum. But that's boring. Very boring. But, yeah. In conclusion, just shoot the ballista and you boost. And there you have it! A ballista boost! Congrats, you've increased your speed and travel distance by twice the cackles per argent farts, or... I, I don't know, the, that kind of seems fast to me. But that's with your momentum alone. Now what if you had something else to give you an extra boost? Yahoo! Ah! Jump pads. They're everywhere. Any room you're in that has a ton of demons around, you're bound to find at least one jump pad there. Now I really hope you know what a jump pad does, because if you don't, I, I guess I could explain it to you. You step onto it and it shoots you in the air. Amazing, right? There's two types of jump pads that can be used. One that sends you straight up, and one that sends you across the map. Notice how they boost you in the air for a bit? Adding a ballista boost can increase your travel distance by a ton. But what can be used for that? Well, you could reach some pretty high areas unreachable by a simple jump pad and a double jump. You'll be up much higher and could raid down hell with sticky grenades or rockets. Hell, if there's a player demon running away from you, it can be used to catch up to them and get the drop on them before they even notice. That's pretty much it when it comes to jump pads. Nothing really special besides becoming a temporary AC-130. If you don't have the jump pad around, but still would like to shoot at enemies from above, you could even meat hook an enemy, jump to break the chain, shoot with the ballista underneath you to gain some of that extra height, and quick switch to any weapon of your choice. But, with the advantage of height, distance and speed, the Ballista can make any console slayer a devastating and invulnerable target to fight against when mastered to its full potential. And that's how you Ballista boost on console. Unfortunately, it won't be as smooth as how it is on PC, but that doesn't mean it's not viable to use. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. It really helps me out. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below if this helped you out. On my previous guide, I noticed it wasn't just console players that I helped, but PC players too. And that truly makes my day. 
that even both player bases can learn a thing or two from my little guides. Now, I know I already plugged this in before, but I stream Doom on Twitch as much as I can. I normally announce when I go live in my Discord server, but in case you haven't checked me out on Twitch, here's a little taste of what my streams are like. There it is, render. Uh, give me cinematic. <laughs> let's, look, let's look at this one. <laughs> Um, here. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's good. This looks like. <laughs> so, yeah, come check me out if you'd like. Love you all once again, and uh, until next time. Keep slaying.